In this video, you'll learn simple ways to make well-formed shapes in PowerPoint. Let me show you what I mean. Often presenters draw ovals when they really mean to draw circles. If you fall into that trap, you'll look amateur, and your audience will be distracted from your message. So let's remake this slide, but with the red symbol forming a circle instead of an oval. Here's the same slide with the oval removed. First let me show you the quickest way to draw a circle. Click the shape on the Home or Insert tab, and then instead of dragging on your slide, just click. That creates a one inch shape. Now how do you make it the size you want? If you drag one of its corner handles and hold down Shift on your keyboard, you can keep its original proportions, like this. No matter where you drag to, while you keep holding down Shift, it stays as a circle. The way I remember to use Shift is that Shift and Shapely both start with SH. Anyway, as soon as you let go of Shift, the shape becomes an oval. So let go of your mouse button before you let go of Shift. Now we have a circle of about the right size. But let's see a great way to make a circle and, at the same time, centre it where you want. But beware! If you ever use one of the dots on the shape's sides, you'll always change the shape's proportions. Regardless of whether you hold down Shift. So be sure to use a corner dot instead. Let's delete the red shape, so you can start again. If you hold down CTRL while you draw a shape, the point you start at becomes the shape's center. To remember to hold down CTRL, it helps to think how center and CTRL both start with C. Again, let's see how it works. To judge where the center of the text box is, select it to show the dots on its edges. Now. Choose the shape you want, which turns your mouse pointer to a cross. Move the cross to the middle of the text box, then start dragging. Like we saw before, when you start to hold down Shift, the oval becomes a circle. And if you also hold down Control, the point you began dragging from becomes the shape's centre. To finish the shape, like before, let go of your mouse button before you let go of CTRL and SHIFT. Now, to finish this slide, right-click the shape and choose Send to Back. OK, next, Let's see how to use those same techniques to create perfect squares. We'll add black squares to a diagram like this. First, let's set the formatting we want for the squares. To do that, right-click a shape that has the look you want, and choose Set as Default Shape. The name of that menu command is a bit misleading, because it sets the initial formatting, but has no effect on the type of shapes you draw. Now we've set black as the initial colour for all shapes, let's go to a copy of this slide that has the squares removed. We'll start with the small square. Like we did at the start, click the shape you want on the toolbar. Move the cross to where you'll start drawing, and hold down SHIFT to keep the drawing shapely. Let go of your mouse button again before letting go of SHIFT. Next let's draw the bigger square. So click the shape on the toolbar, and to centre the shape, Move to where you want the centre to be, hold down CTRL and SHIFT, and drag. Now 
As before to finish, let go of your mouse button before you let go of Shift and Control. There you go. Lastly, let's just see how to create a triangle with all its sides the same length. A bit like the logo on this slide. Remember, you can choose a shape from the toolbar and then just click your slide to make a perfectly proportioned one inch shape. Let's rotate it like the logo. To do that, you can drag the green dot above it. Now to get it to snap to angles like 15, 30 and 45 degrees, hold down Shift. To know to hold down Shift, I like to remember that Shift and Snap both start with S. Again like before, let go of your mouse button before you let go of Shift. There you have it. You've seen how to create perfect shapes by clicking on your slide, and you've seen how to use your Shift and Control keys to resize, center and rotate shapes properly. So like this slide says, do make perfect shapes. That way you'll come across much more professionally than most presenters and you'll keep your audience focused on your message, not just on your drawing skills.